What's up guys, it's BD here, and these are the five mouse pads you need to know about. So we haven't done a mouse pad review in a very long time, mostly because the market has just been super saturated. There's a ton of good mouse pads, and let's be honest, there's a lot of crappy ones as well. But over the past couple of months, I've been testing out a few mouse pads, and these are the ones that really stood out to me as being worth your time. You know, I actually took a little bit more time with each one of these mouse pads just to make sure that it didn't degrade over time. Since mouse pad needs are different from person to person, in this video I will be detailing who each mouse pad is made for and what games it works best with. So let's not waste any more time, let's hop right into the video with the first mouse pad on the list, the Vaxi PA. Now this is a mouse pad that I've seen a lot of pros in Valorant use recently and honestly, after using it for a good amount of time now, I see why. One of the most common mouse pads being used in esports today in any game is a Zowie GSRSE. That's pretty much what this mouse pad is, but it has something that the GSRSE doesn't have, which is durability. On the Zowie, you're looking at about three to six months of use before you see a noticeable dead spot where the coating used to be on the mouse pad. The surface is smooth to the touch, not a lot of fiber sticking up. It doesn't stick to your arm when it gets hot or humid, which I really like. No stitched edges here, although I have noticed the edges do get worn on this pad after extended use, but it's still very usable. And of course, this is going to be great for people who just frankly hate stitched edges. I'd say this is a medium pad, which makes it great if if you are playing a game with a mixture of shooting styles like tracking and flicking, games like Fortnite, Halo, Apex, and even Valorant work really well with this pad. This is a good pad, but I wouldn't say it's great, but definitely geared towards the people that love the GSR SE. And this one is coming in at a slightly lower price point. Vaxi. I see what you're doing. Next up, we have the Razer Strider. This one has the benefit of being readily available and the price of it is very competitive for what you get. This pad feels really close to what a mid softness artisan Heian feels like, but this one actually has a uniform X and Y axis, which the Heian doesn't. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of that on the artisan Heian, but I learned to live with it. So this kind of remedies that. I do like the soft version of the Heian more than this Strider pad though, because it just sinks in a little bit more, whereas this one is just an all out speedster. For those of you guys who are new or never heard of the Artisan Heian, they are considered to be one of the best fast pads out currently, if not the best, but they cost an arm and a leg and they sell out consistently. That's what makes the Strider so good at a fraction of the cost. This one is waterproof as well for you clumsy folks out there, myself included. This is the pad you wanna get if you want a smooth glide with very little friction. This, this is gonna be great for games like Call of Duty, Halo, and Apex. I personally found it a little bit too fast for games like Valorant and CSGO where you need to be very precise. So unless you have the manual dexterity, I would steer clear away for games like that. With the games that I mentioned before this, this pad will definitely help you if you're weak with locking on your target and following their movement. It allows for quick changes in direction very, very easily. This one also has the added benefit of being in both a large and a desk mat size. So if you love the mouse pads, like the artisan pads but always wanted a desk mat version of that i think this is going to be the closest thing you're going to get to that because i don't see artisan making anything like that anytime soon all right so if you guys are enjoying this video hit that subscribe button that would mean the world to me now i gotta ask you guys are you tired of your mouse pads only lasting a week and then you gotta buy another one well, the next mouse pad on the list fixes all of that. That is the SkyPad 3.0. They fixed a lot of things that I didn't like about the first one and came out with a pad with even less friction than the original. This is definitely the fastest pad on the list today. The added benefit of this glass pad is that it's super durable and won't develop slow spots like you would on a cloth pad. You literally have this mouse pad that's gonna last you an eternity. One thing to note is that this pad gets pretty cold. It's a good thing because it's not going to make your arm hot and sweaty and sticky, but it can be a little bit distracting having your arm on a cold piece of glass. Did I mention this thing is huge? Love that. They fixed the mouse pad feet, which was my number one gripe about the original or the SkyPad 2, and replaced them with these low profile texture pads and they work well. And these don't raise the mouse pad sky high like on the 2.0, which led to cutting off of your circulation from your arm to your hand, like that original one did. Seriously, on the 2.0, you'd be like, yo. Hello. 
great for fast-paced tracking games like Call of Duty and Halo. I find it really weak for flicking and precise games like Valorant or CSGO. Unless you're a genetic freak that can control the end of your arm or wrist movement very precisely. I'm not one of those people, so I'm the first one to admit it. So for me, this one doesn't get a lot of play time, but it could work out nicely for you if you do play those other games. Next up, the GOAT has spoken. Rocket Jump Ninja has his take on what a mouse pad should be with this extra five GPZ1, better known as Zai's Damage. Let's just say if you like mud, you're going to love this pad. Super slow. Take what you think is slow and go even slower than that. That's the speed of this mouse pad. If I had to compare it to something currently out, I'd say it's close to like a Zowie GSR. Now back in the day, I used to think control pads or mud pads were bad. That was a general consensus. Not just for me, but for a lot of people out there. But after going back and forth between low friction pads and high friction pads, personally, I love control pads and I'm the most consistent and most accurate with them. Your tracking is going to suffer, but if you can learn to lightly hold your mouse or get used to how the mouse pad reacts, or if you're already a god at tracking and you just need help with the accuracy, then this mouse pad will be for you because this will help with your flicking accuracy immensely. Now this pad is great for games like CSGO and Valorant where you just need that pinpoint accuracy with little to no tracking. These are okay for games like Apex and Fortnite. I found the combination type shooters where you're doing a combination of flicking and tracking. If you're playing like something like Call of Duty and Halo, you might wanna look elsewhere. So if it weren't for this next mouse pad on the list, the Zai's Damage would be the mouse pad that I would be using. That being said, the last mouse pad on the list is my favorite and I honestly think that it is the mouse pad of the year after testing it for a couple of weeks now. And that mouse pad is none other than the Lethal Gaming Saturn. Holy shit, this is one good mouse pad. Now I've seen people compare it to the Artisan Zero, but it's better than that. It's crazy to say that. Better than Artisan. You don't hear that too often true artisan killer here. It's a medium control pad that's made out of polyester, so it's going to last you a very long time. In my use of this mouse pad, I haven't noticed any changes in speed due to slow spots. There's no fibers coming off of it or catching on it like on the Artisan Zero. The texture is nice and smooth on your skin. The stitch edges are fraying a little bit, but they are very soft and comfortable to use. If, especially if you don't like stitch edges, this one's gonna be just fine for you. I love the minimal logo on the bottom right-hand side. The base feels good. And Overall, it just feels like a pretty heavy pad. The friction when you are at rest is just enough to make you really precise, but it doesn't have so much that it's gonna be hard to change directions quickly when you need to track. It might be the last mouse pad you ever need to buy, okay? At least for a few months until you're bored of killing everyone and you feel like you just need a change of pace. So if you're somebody that lightly holds your mouse, it's gonna be great. If you're somebody that presses down hard on your mouse pad, it's gonna be great as well because this mouse isn't seeing so much that it affects your aim, but it will give you some added control. This is gonna be amazing for CSGO and Valorant players for sure. This honestly should be the standard. I think once the word gets out about how good this mouse pad is, you're gonna see a lot of people switching over to it. I'm talking this should be like the new QCK Plus for gamers. Now, I didn't forget about you, Call of Duty, Halo, and Fortnite players, this pad is gonna work just fine for you as well. So yeah, if you don't know what to get on this list, definitely go for the Saturn. Great price, great quality. All right, so that's gonna do it for the five mouse pads you need to know about. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that sub button. It's been your boy BT, and I'm saying peace.